If you aren't using the native share API in your web applications yet, then maybe you should. This API invokes the native sharing mechanism of the device to share data such as text, URLs, or files. I use this on my personal website where I have my blog. So let's pick this article. Down here, I have this share button. So instead of having a LinkedIn link, Facebook link, Instagram link, or X link, or Twitter link, I have this share button which when i click would access the native sharing mechanisms of my device and here i can share to this contact to messages notes to share to anything and this is not just for my browser on my phone i have the same thing when i come here and i click on share it gives me access to my recent contact and then i can airdrop drive whatsapp i can do all of these things here so instead of manually providing links i allow the user to share to wherever they find convenience let's look at the code for this so in my application i have this native share function it takes a url and a title then i call navigator.share navigator exists in the global space in your browser and then i pass this object in this object i have the title the url and this text and if the content is successfully shared this then block is triggered if it is not shared let's say the user cancels the sharing then this catch block runs and then i can use this in my native share component first i check if native share exists this is the function here so i check check global the reason i'm using check global is to check if window is not undefined because during server side rendering window does not exist so i check the global and then i check navigator.share so if it doesn't exist it will be undefined but if it exists then you have access to the function so here i check native share if it is not undefined then i have my share button and in this button when you click on it i call native share but if native share does not exist then i return this element here which is a twitter link instead and for the component that i use for my articles down here i have share article i pass the url and the title so coming back here this is the local development part this is the article then i can share this and let's just say i share this to notes in my notes here you can see i have the title the url and i have this text which is kind of the title by i am Dillion. you can choose to modify this text the way you want to and if you don't provide this text i think the share api is just going to use your title and your url i'm going to cancel this let's open the console now when you press share if you stop sharing you can see it says couldn't share article because share cancelled if i press share and i go to notes but I don't save and I cancel. I'm still going to get couldn't share article. But let's say I successfully share this and I press save. Then we have successfully shared article. So maybe you want to trigger something if the user cancels sharing or if the user successfully shares. You can do that with the den and the catch block. The browser support for this is at 90 91% approximately but it's not supported on firefox so let's say i open my web page on firefox you can see at the bottom instead of having that share button i now have this twitter link because in my code i check if this is not undefined then we have the share button but if it is undefined then we have this link here so you can progressively add this api to your applications such that if the api exists allow the user to choose where they want to share whatever they find convenient but if it doesn't exist then you can have your manual twitter links manual linkedin instagram or whatever destination you want your user to share this to you can use this for urls for text and you can also use this for files let's try using this for an image so here in my native share i can pass title url text and i can also pass files so let's say this native share is going to receive just one image i have image source to be string so if we go to my website the local one let's say i want to make it easy to share this cover to anybody i have this share button and if we go to the code for it this is the share button so if the cover exists i have my share article i pass the url i pass the title and i'm also going to pass the image source so i'm going to pass cover here and then for my share article components i'm going to receive the image source here so image source string and then for my native share i can pass the image source now coming to my native share i cannot just pass the image source to the share api i have to convert that to a file to convert that to a file i can have a function i'll call this create file from source then we take the source this is going to be an async function um, then i'm going to fetch that source fetch src await i am fetching this because i want to convert it to a 
blob. So I'm going to check if response.ok is false. Then I'm just going to do console log image not found and I'm going to return undefined. I can get the blob await response.blob. Now that I have the blob, I can convert it to a file. I'm going to say const file is equals to new file. I have my array here and I pass the blob. Then I'm going to pass the file name. I'm just going to use the file name to be the image source. Then I can pass the options where I have type equals blob dot type. Sorry, this should be blob, not blog. So I pass blob dot type. Now I have the file where this is not correct. Or oh, this should be SRC, not image source. Okay, now that I have the file, I can return the file. And then here in my native share, I can also have this to be an async. I'm going to get the file. File is equal to await create file from SRC. And then I pass the image source. Well, first I have to check if image SRC is passed because this could be passed or not. So I'm going to have const files to be an array. Then here I can say if image source, then I'm going to get the file of this source and then do files.push and I pass the file and then I can pass these files. Well, I can just have it like this. So the files property is going to be the files array. I should probably type this to be file array. So I can say if file, then we call files.push file. Okay, now that I have it like this, I can go back here. So now I have this share button. When I click on this share button now, it allows me to share that image. And if I share this to notes, you can see I have the image here, but let me cancel. Now let's say I share this via airdrop and I'm just going to share this to my iPhone. This is received and I don't know if you can see it clearly, but uh, I have the image on my phone. So by doing this, I've made it very easy for my users to share media, links, text to anything that they find convenient. Maybe it's an existing contact, it's a friend, uh, maybe it's a platform, maybe it's to their story. They can easily share it there instead of me limiting them to just manual links like LinkedIn and Instagram.